So this first video is a summary of um, liturgical use. So let's start off straight away with Advent. So you could be asked to explain how they celebrate it. Well, a couple things to remember is the wreath and the candles, okay? Obviously the purple candles, all right, that they represent the type of penance, that type of idea. The wreath is a circle, reminder of God's everlasting love, that sort of thing. Priest wears purple, reminder of penance again. The Gloria isn't sung. It's a time of preparation, not a time of celebration. Um, then they also, it was called that there's a time of so saying carols, there's cribs displayed, there's cards that are sent. It's a form of evangelization too the community we also have advent calendars Woo chocolate so why it's a reminder to count down to jesus's birth okay you can talk about the jesse tree and how that links jesus with the old testament tells a story we donate to charity because this is a key time of the year so we should show love to our neighbor key teaching key time of the year we do those things then um why advent is important well First of all, it's a time of preparation for Jesus' birthday. Uh, birthday, <laughs> Jesus' arrival. Now, the second thing is, it's a time for us to restore our relationship with God. So we've got a reconciliation. We're ready for Jesus' birth. Easy peasy. Next one, it's a time that we can focus on showing love to others. Why? It's a key time of the year. It's a key teaching. We do it. We don't need the Catholic, yada, yada, yada. Now, it is a time that we can share the true meaning of Advent and the Christmas season. Essentially, it's a time for evangelization. Why? Because we need to in today's society, okay? Why do we need to? Because we live in a secular society when people just celebrate Christmas because they love presents and it isn't because they, um, and it isn't because of the birth of Jesus. So during, during Advent, we get our message out there. Um, so why is Advent important? Well, you can say it's Christmas that's important, not the time for presents preparation but the actual birth itself um some people don't understand the significance of advent people don't it's called um do anything during advent that sort of like leads to sort of christmas you can talk about stuff like that all right i'd be surprised if advent came up as a, an evaluation question when it comes to christmas our catholics celebrate christmas so priest wears white or gold because of the time of celebration Gloria is saying, why? Celebration. Evangelization, again, talk about the cows, talk about the cribs, talk about sending cards with the true sort of thing and the nativity scene on. Um, you talk about the Jesse tree, linking Jesus with the Old Testament, the story being told, donating to charity, exchanging gifts, attending mass. Goodness me, that's not in the, in the revision guide. Say it. It's the most important thing that they do. Now, next one. Why Christmas is important, right, the reason it's important is that it's the time we remember, remember the word remember, okay, if you're talking about stuff in like Jesus' life, so we remember when Jesus was born, so we remember about the incarnation and all that sort of stuff, um, it's a time that unites all people, unites all Catholics, whether it be at Mass, whether it be with their families, that type of stuff, okay, another reason why it's important is it reminds us that Jesus is our Saviour, our Messiah, because of the fulfilment of the Old Testament prophecies, etc., <clears throat> um, it reminds us of our responsibility to evangelize, to spread the true meaning of Christmas in our secular world. Um, it gives us an opportunity to fulfill the two greatest commandments, love to God, attending mass, singing praise, that type of thing, the Gloria, and also that it's a time to evangelize, spread, oh, sorry, sorry, no, show love to our neighbors, okay? So showing love to our neighbors, how do we do this? Donate the Cafford, do you mean fulfilling our pastoral role? Whatever you want. And um, you could say it's not to thank God for the incarnation of Jesus, all right? So you can talk about the different things that we do to thank God during that time. Um, now, you could be asked about uh, whether it is still a religious festival or not. And the two reasons you would say why it isn't, okay, so the alternative to those ones I've just given, is that it's no longer a religious festival. It's more of a societal sort of event. You can think that's sort of like exchanging presents but not going to mass. And the other one is that it's too commercialized, okay? So you can talk about it's about making money. Do you mean it's September that Christmas sort of things go up in shops and that type of idea? Um, if you did get that thing about it no longer being a Chris, uh, it was called uh, a religious festival, then what you could do is you could say like, oh, well, it, yes, it still is because it's the time of the year when most people do attend mass, okay? So you can say it's got here, right, that 33% of the UK go to a church service at Christmas time. So that's quite a lot. I mean, one in three people. Now, the Epiphany. Just a little short topic, this one, right? So, describe how they celebrate the Epiphany. Right, so, there's a singing, okay? Which song? We Three Kings. The Epiphany is all about the visit, the visit of the Magi, okay? Um, the other one is having your house blessed or chalk in the door. Now, this is quite an old sort of custom, but CBM, 
all right, on the door. And obviously there's, there's a couple of other things, but if you remember that, CBM is a reminder of the three names of the Magi, okay? Casper, Melchior, and Balthazar, all right? What else do they do? They go to Mass. Why is the main form of worship? They eat three kings cake, all right? So essentially it's a cake decorated with three different colors, all right? And it reminds us, of, once again, of the, of the Magi's visit. And um, what they usually do is they remove their Christmas decorations. Why? Because this is sort of like the sealing off, the end of the Christmas season. Um, another, so you could be asked why the epiphany is important. Now, I don't think that's going to come up, all right? But if you had to mention it about... Um, sort of if it came up as like in a, a, a wider evaluation question on the liturgical year then you could talk about that it was important because it's when the incarnation was confirmed all right sort of historically because we talk about how um that was like the idea of jesus being revealed to the whole of society okay because the magi represents sort of the wider world coming to see him um you could say that the epiphany also shows that jesus is for all people and the reason for that is that you've got the Magi, who's called who have just considered to become, sort of come from afar, and they've come to see him. So it's the idea that Jesus isn't just for that small community, but for everyone around the world. All right? I'd be surprised if that one comes up, if I'm honest. Now, <clears throat> Lent. Now, Lent is the preparation time before Easter, okay, and, and Holy Week. As a result of this, a lot of stuff is similar to Advent. So begins on Ash Wednesday when we have the Ash Wednesday Mass. We have the palms, the burnt palms, sorry, that are used to sort of bless our foreheads, all right, as a symbol of sort of that we're sorry for our sins and we want to return to God. We want to prepare for the Easter season. Um, another thing we do during Lent is to focus on repentance. Catholics go to reconciliation. Also, Catholics fast, all right? Why? Because just like Jesus fasted when he went into the desert for 40 days and 40 nights, we want to replicate this, okay? We want to have a bit of a taster about what he's done. Um, also, Catholics do charitable work, all right, or donate to charity. Why? It's a way that we should, it's a time that we should focus on sort of love thy neighbour, so we do it during this time. And um, the priest wears purple, no gloria, reminder, time of penance, time of preparation, not of celebration. Why is Lent important? Well, number one, it's a time of preparation for Jesus' death and resurrection. It's a time, number two, it's a time we can restore our relationship with God, talk about reconciliation, that sort of thing, and the purple colour. It's a time that we test our faith to God. Why? Because we give things up, okay? We give things up, we try and do a little bit more, all right? And this is a challenge. Well, if we pass that test, it proves to God and proves to ourselves, all right, just how important our faith is. Finally, it's an opportunity to fulfill the two greatest commandments. Love thy God, love thy neighbour. Show love to God, reconciliation, doing his work. So we show love to others, show love to God by attending mass, etc, etc. Show love to others, you're talking about charity again more than anything, okay? Why Lent isn't the most important time of the year? You can say that the Holy Week or the actual event, Jesus' death and resurrection, that sort of stuff is what's important and not actually the preparation time. Um, you could say that the things that they do during Lent, they should be focusing on throughout the year anyway, okay? So showing love to others, reconciliation, that type of idea. The answer you use there is very similar to what you would say for Advent. Holy Week. Now, Holy Week obviously is, um, it's called the the four days, all right? Palm Sunday, all right? Then you've got Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and then you've got the Easter Vigil. So you could be asked to describe how Catholics celebrate Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, or the Easter Vigil. So Monday, Thursday, you got to talk about, first of all, in the morning, the priests, uh, it was called, uh, I think, sorry, um, the priest or the bishop of each diocese, all right, celebrates mass, all right, for and all the other priests attend, and they bless the chrism oil that's going to be used throughout the year to, for the sacraments, okay? Um, then is the mass. Now, in the mass, they bless, it was called, that they, they wash the the parishioners' feet as a reminder of Jesus' example of service, washing the disciples' feet. And um, you've also got the uh, the Mass, okay? It's, it was called Holy Communion, that sort of stuff, Holy Communion, and it was called the uh, Jesus' Body and Blood, sorry. That, why? It's a reminder of the event of the Last Supper. Then it ends with a prayer watch or a prayer vigil. Why? Because this is what happened, okay, when after Jesus' um, Last Supper, and it's a time that we're supposed to be with Jesus, to sort of accompanying him the day before he's going to go and die for us, okay? Um, so, Good Friday. So, what a lot of people do on Good Friday is fast. Why? Because it's sort of a uh, reminder of Jesus' sort of sacrifice for us. We're trying to replicate that. 
churches hold a special service, not a mass, service, at around three o'clock, because of the time that he died, all right, or believed he died. Um, there's some processions, okay? There's, there's processions, whatever, in some places. Why? It's a form of evangelization to spread that message of what happened on Jesus's on, on Good Friday to Jesus to the wider community. So in the church, everything's bare and pictures and statues are covered. Why? Because it's supposed to remind us that it's a time of sort of great sadness. You can also say that the priest is black. All right. Why? Again, for the same reason, time of sadness, time of mourning. And you can also say Catholics often hot cross buns on this day, essentially a roll with a cross on, all right? And um, they do this because it symbolizes sort of like Jesus' crucifixion, okay? Now, wha- how do they celebrate Easter, all right? So, first of all, it starts in darkness outside. It's called the service of light, and they light the Paschal candle. Jesus, the light of the world, has returned. That's me holding the candle, okay? Now, so that's the first thing they do. Then, the priest himself, he wears gold or white. Why? This is a time of celebration, all right? And not of mourning anymore. So, guess what's sung? Gloria! Exactly. So, the church is filled with flowers, all right? It's all bright and colored. I mean, that sort of thing. The idea that Jesus, our Savior, has returned um we renew our baptismal vows why because this new life we've got with jesus we're recommitting to him um there's also a lot of readings during the liturgy of the word and they all focus upon jesus resurrection god's love for us all right it's like a celebration of everything that's wonderful about being a catholic and then finally all right not just catholics do this but obviously everyone does the exchanging of eggs and the reason for this is that there's a symbol of new life all right there's always something to do with food when it comes to catholic celebrations i know um, you could be asked, though, to describe it as a whole. And if you are, all right, then just make sure that you've got, like, one or two points from each one. And make sure you mention something about Palm Sunday. It begins on Palm Sunday, where we remember Jesus' triumphant entrance into Jerusalem. So we wave palms and we sing, Hosanna, hey. No, not like that, okay? Hopefully much better. Now, so... That's what you would do. Now, if you got asked to explain the importance of Holy Week, the reason why Holy Week is important is because, number one, it was when we were taught the Mass, Last Supper, link it to that. Number two, it shows how much God loves us. Why? He let Jesus die for us. We remind us of this. It also reminds us that we can gain salvation, go to heaven, because through Jesus' death, we've got atonement, that type of idea, all right? It also gives us hope of an afterlife. Why? Because of Jesus' resurrection, but also of atonement. Once again, you can link it to that. Then, the final one, it reveals the omnipotence of God. Why? Because he raised Jesus back from the dead, and hopefully, we will do the same, but he raised us back in heaven. Explain the importance of Easter, you could be asked as well. Now, if that comes up, then you'd say Easter is important. It gives us hope of an afterlife. Why? Because Jesus was raised from the dead, and hopefully God will do that for us too. The next one is that it reveals the omnipotence of God. He raised Jesus from the dead. Wow, he must be pretty powerful. Exacto mondo. Um, It reminds us that Jesus is the Messiah. Why? Because the Old Testament says that the Messiah will rise from the dead. He did this, confirms him as it, reminds us of that. And also, Easter is an opportunity for us to fulfill the two greatest commandments of showing love to God and love to our neighbour. So, at Easter time, we give money to charity, we give Easter eggs to one another. That's how we show love to each other. Showing love to God is sort of like the, you can talk about going to the Mass on Easter Vigil, that sort of stuff, and praising God, singing the Gloria. Another point that is in the, in the revision guide that you could use as well to do with Easter is that you would say that um, it is a time... Oh, I just forgot what I was going to say. Um, I'll come back to that now. If it comes up as, uh, as an evaluation question, then you can use uh, as an alternative that Christmas is more important, that you would say the Ascension or the Pente- Pentecost is more important, or you could say that Jesus' teachings are more important rather than sort of what happens during the events of Holy Week, okay? There we go. And that sort of gives you quite a lot of liturgical year. I'll do part two following this.